Hello and welcome to a kind of different video on the Apori channel. I am Rangus and welcome to the first episode and if the only episode of my how to paint a mock video. I'm not sure if it's going to be a series but if you like the style of the video and you like the content that I have made for the channel or this one video, comment below for more and also give me suggestions on things to possibly make as in custom masks and also um you know just general stuff and like how to paint things and etc etc so as you can see on your screen right now there should be images of the mocks that i have painted and such and obviously you can kind of get a reference of how i paint my mocks and kind of the thing that will be doing to this one orc uh, that's his name is going to be a kind of villain in the last season of life of a night so the things that you will need to obviously paint the mocks is that you're going to need a mug or a cup of water um you're going to need some paper towels you're going to need your just a plate or something to kind of put paint on and obviously the paint that i'm going to be using is model uh, color uh, acrylic um i i'm saying this now uh, i am pre-recording the audio to this video so if my hands are doing something and i'm kind of doing something else whilst i'm talking over i apologize it's just that i wasn't happy with what i was saying in the video so i'm kind of redoing it um but this is the pain and um, it does wash off with water uh so don't think that you're going to be ruining any part of the mock it can come off it obviously depends on what type of paint you're going to be using um if you can get your hands on this type of paint that i am using it, it, it rinses off so it's not going to be an issue but if you're worrying about stuff like that get the paint and try and rinse it uh, before applying it to a mock um, I'm going to be showing you how to actually apply it correctly well what I think correctly anyway because I have seen people add paint to mocks and it doesn't look that great but by all means they're not the best but it's just kind of an understanding how to apply the paint obviously here's the two uh, paint brushes that I am going to be using just like the largest one I had and then another one which I don't really use but I just had it there just for safe measures as you can see here's a mask that I've already painted uh, with a good metal um, as you can see it's kind of got those red tusks and the burgundy or crimson red and it kind of makes them look like metal um, as you can see I didn't put a whole lot on um, putting kind of a, a bit on the, uh, kind of certain areas of it make it look metal and hopefully that's kind of how the mock is gonna turn out um yeah it's a black and lime green mock so the paint does show it's just not the best um but yeah i'm just gonna get straight into the video and hopefully uh you take anything from it um i will say this, this is the kind of thing that how i paint mocks especially on the armor shells um i do um start from the edges and then paint downwards because the edges i kind of feel like are the most important part um aging something and then the um armor connectors the lightsaber um connectors or whatever um paint that a fair bit as well you'll also see in the video um i am taking parts of the mock off and i'm going to start with the hands i'm also just going to skip through the video so it's not long um because originally this video was recorded to be 20 minutes i'm gonna cut it down to so long so i apologize if you obviously want the full detail but um i'm just gonna be talking over it whilst i'm doing this and i only apply so much to the brush um if you've seen i don't know if i showed it or not but i only apply a little bit and then i you know work my way um and i end up painting the entire hand with just that little part so you don't have to constantly go back get more paint apply get more paint apply it doesn't work like that um so and hopefully as the footage goes along i am going to stop talking eventually i'm just going to let the video play and you know, obviously hopefully have some music in the background copyright music so the channel doesn't get copyrighted in any way just so you can kind of see how i paint um without me speaking and kind of taking in or you know kind of understand how i do things um i will come back at the end of the video so you know i'll talk about what i've done and so on and then i'll probably talk about other things that i have done um so Thank you. 
So I'm kind of letting the video, you know, kind of speak for itself. But um, this point in the recording, um, I am showing you how I paint and what I was talking about earlier from starting from the top and then working downwards. Um, it does kind of give the armor shell a really nice finish. And if you're going for that really worn edge look, it looks great. So pretty much coming to the end of the video, um, hopefully you have enjoyed this kind of style of video or the kind of uh, thing that I have been doing. If Again, if you're wanting some more of these things, then just comment below and give me suggestions of like mocks to paint or whatever. Um, I think I probably will be painting some more for Life of a Night. I'm not entirely sure, like some main characters like Briggs or something. Especially if you haven't watched my series, then you know where it is. Um, my social media... Um, accounts are on the screen right now both at instagram and twitter if you didn't know obviously it's right there that's why i put them there um the tracks that i have used in the video will be in the description below so if you're interested in the music that i used it's copyright free it's not gonna get copyright strike on the channel or anything um basically the video was just an idea or give you an idea of how to kind of make a mock look aged and how to quote unquote correctly paint a mock or how i feel correctly to paint the mock um i may put an image at the end of the video showing the mock entirely painted like the lime green the tubes and so on um so yeah uh, that's all i want to say and just um go off and paint some stuff it's really fun to be honest it's quite nice and um it adds a lot to the character of your mock and it kind of um yeah it just adds quite a good bit so thanks for watching i'll see you later bye